Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Marvel's potential has been realized. So we are going to immediately tier three Car L, the joke on Marvel, uh, the original Captain Marvel. And I'm very excited. This is happening right now. But first, I do want to make a small announcement. If you notice that the video quality or the sound quality or, or any part of the video, possibly the, the shading over here, is a little bit less than you're used to, possibly compared to yesterday, the reason for that is that my internet died uh, in, in where I live temporarily, so I had to record this on my laptop using my cell phone uh, hotspot, and so that's why things are looking a little bit odd. It's a kind of an unfortunate day because I want this to be as epic as possible, but I didn't want to miss this with you guys, so let's get into it and just, you know, do your best to ignore it, and it'll be all back to normal very, very soon. So. What I've been doing lately for potential with characters is uh, rather than risk uh, any sort of weirdness on the first few rank ups, I just go to 100%. It's not very much, and yes, I am losing resources technically, but uh, it's something that I can afford to do uh, once I've saved up enough resources, and it's better than, you know, it's better than gambling and, and, and potentially losing so much resources. And if you guys remember famously, I lost uh, the vast majority of my resources on uh, Gambit's potential, and it was around the level 1 to 2 range, I believe. I believe it was actually the level 2 range where I, had to, I failed 104 times. 103 times. So we're actually just going to go to 100% the first few here. This does make it quite a bit faster to get through. Um, we're going to actually use Satana here. I don't really need these bios pressingly. Um, but actually, the bios are probably going to be the most difficult part for this. Or not the most difficult part, but just the part that um, possibly costs me the most. This one, I'm, I'm also... Mm, I don't I didn't really want to do the whole 800, put the whole 800 down. But we are going to go ahead and do that. Um, if, you also, if you're also noticing in today's video that I'm looking down more often than usual, and my eyes look like they're closed, they're not closed. It's just because I'm looking down at a laptop screen rather than looking just under the camera at the regular computer screen. So again, I'm not asleep, uh, but uh, I do have to do this for hopefully just one or two videos. Uh, now here is where we do want to start gambling because it's just way too much resources. It's over it's over 1,500 and if we can get this in 10 tries or less, which we should uh, with my new percentage that I go for, um, we're bound to save something. So we're going to uh, try this method of 20% and hopefully, there we go, no cuts, no editing, first try baby. Thank you Captain Marvel, I really needed that after all of the pain that I went through with rolling uh, for CTPs of regeneration and we have honestly we have more to talk about with CTPs uh, because the the saga of the CTP is not over uh, unfortunately the, the of the new CTP so we'll get to that in a bit but we do have one more potential to enhance now here again it's over 2000 we can definitely risk it uh, I think it's 444 for this one at 20% so again we should uh, get it within 2,000 and change, um, yeah, 444, within 2,000, I, I really wanted it to go on one, I really, I really did, but we didn't get it, but now we will uh, kind of fast track this until uh, we finally do get it, it should be 222. Nope, that's two tries. There we go, three tries. I cannot make this up. I got super lucky. I just spent 888 black antimatter instead of 2,200. So I literally saved 1,400 black antimatter. I saved a ton on her. I'm super happy about that. Uh, now I'm gonna get crushed by her gears. That's exactly what's gonna happen next to punish me for how lucky I've been, uh, how lucky I was just now. I actually do need the Nebula Bios for uh, Ronin's uniform. So we're actually going to use some other characters. That's fine. Actually, we do have enough bios of kind of like fringe characters. Alpha Flight Commander. We'll collect this at the end. But now we have to go ahead with the advancement. But when you click this, all gears need to be 25. So this is the next step. You now have to get the gears to 25. It requires black antimatter and this uh, Titan component pack and the dimension dust. So we have to just spend this. We're also going to have to spend a lot of gold. So keep the, the gold on track. I spent about 4 million just now, which is 
honestly under what I expected to spend, but I'm expecting another like 10 to 20 million getting chunked off here just from the gears. Um, and honestly, I do have enough uh, resources, but I am most worried about this. I try to keep at least 9,000, at least this much for every update because of um, new native tier twos. Now, of course, we just got a native tier two, one update prior with uh, Dr. Doom, and that cost a tremendous amount of resources on my part. You saw I dipped down to like 5,000 black antimatter or something crazy like that. Um, and the likelihood of getting another tier native tier two is very low. More often, more likely than not, I suspect, I expect anything under 15. 15 and under is honestly beautiful. Anything over 15 kind of makes me sad. It is what it is. Fine. 320 black antimatter. So that cost, like, we were at 9,000. That cost, like, 1,000 black antimatter. One gear, 1,000 black antimatter. So technically, we could spend, you know, like, 3,000 just on the gears, which is wild, but it's possible. Um, but more, more likely than not, I expect to see... Uh, reworks for a lot of the existing native tier twos. Netmarble has money that they could definitely be making on uniforms. Reworks for you know Odin, Dormammu, uh, Doctor Strange, even of course, um, what's his name? Odin, Dormammu, Apocalypse. Uh, tons of those. And actually, I do have something else to say in a later video about uh, Apocalypse, but I'll leave that for that video. Uh, we have to focus now on getting completely fucking wrecked by that 27 roll there. That was disgusting. So now I think we're down to about 7,000. So that, yeah, we've spent about 18, 1,700 uh, black antimatter so far. No biggie. I mean, that's just like, I don't know. I think we spent 1,700 getting her to level 70. So, you know, it's going to cost probably around 3,000 to 4,000 black antimatter to get her to tier 2. But, uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I, whatever. I'm, I'm, what am I saving the resources for, right? If I'm not going to tier 2 anyone, uh, Cynic Alex, tier, tier 3 Spider-Man. You know, I tier 3'd Magneto. No one thanked me for that. No one was... was that was beautiful, by the way. Beautiful. Uh, nobody... Well, you, I mean, you guys watched the video. You guys were hype about tier 3 Magneto, but... I did expect more. That, okay, by the way, 1,000 for the first gear, 700 for the second gear, 300 for that last gear. 300. Can we get more of those, please? Can I get another one of those? Can I get a 300, please? Excuse me. Hi. Can I get a, can I get a 300, Zack Snyder? Uh, was it Zack? Frank Miller's 300? Can I please? Excuse me. Hi. 300 Greek, uh, uh, what are they called? Spartans? Yeah, Spartans. That was, that was 200, right? That was 190 right there. That was 200. So we're definitely not going to hit the 300 again. Boom, there we go. Yeah, 22. Let's go higher. Why not? Yeah, cool, man. Very cool. I'm so excited. Five. Okay, that's actually very good. Uh, I won't complain anymore. Sorry. But yeah, so we ended out with how much black antimatter is it going to tell us when we get here? Nope. Hold up. Hold up. Skirt. Let's go back to the inventory. How much did we end up with? So we spent in total uh, about 4,000, uh, 3,700. Black antimatter because we started off with 1,100 uh, to get Captain Marvel to tier three. That's not including the tier three materials. I didn't even calculate those. Also, would it wouldn't it be nice if we could use the Norn Stones of Chaos to upgrade their gears? If we could choose whether we used Black Antimatter Chaos Norn Stones, that would be cool. Think about it, Net Marble. Think about it. I also have to do a video later on trying to get her type enhancement to rank 6, so I can get the CTP of regeneration from the legendary battle. Super excited for that RNG, oh boy. Anyways, let's go click the final button. I know all you guys are screaming at your monitors, screaming at your phones. Do it, you pussy. Do it, bitch. Press the button. Binary break, break these nuts. I'm gonna press it though. I'm just, I just wanna stall for a little bit longer. Definitely gotta make sure this video hits 20 minutes. That's the new number, guys. By the way, 10 minute YouTube videos, fucking dead. New YouTube video minimum, 20 minutes. We got the Alley A intro, the Alley A mid roll, mid roll, and the Alley A outro. So yeah, we're gonna press the button now. It's gonna be great. I'm never gonna get 10 Universal books again. If you guys don't remember, this took me a long time to get for tier three Thor. Um, and what do I have to say before we tier three her? Well, the stat boosts are quite good. She gets 12,000, almost 12,000 energy attack. Most importantly, look at that HP. It goes up by like almost 20,000, which is insane, which does to me indicate that she's more of a PVP type character. Now keep in mind, Thor also had a pretty substantial tier three stat bump, but as we all know, that's the face you make when you think about Th Thor's tier three. I was gonna call him Thor. You think about uh, pooping, because Thor, Thor tier three kind of stinks. So anyways, here we go.
very cool. She's flying through space. She puts on the helmet. Binary Breakaroni. Major Danvers. Roger that, Major Danvers. Okie dokie. So let's go and take our newly minted rank 1000. Really? Damn. I, we got to upgrade the Uru, I think. I think it's the Uru. Um, let's go take our newly minted tier 3 Captain Marvel. And uh, let's go Let's go try him out. Let's go try her out against some world boss. Uh, I, I, do, I can still work on the Uru for sure. I can still get Overdrive up to stage 12. But otherwise, we're pretty maxed out. The only big thing is the uniform. It's that legendary. We definitely could take it to Mythic. We just need more bios. And we need the uniform XP. I do technically have enough of those to just do it right away. But... I'm I'm trying I'm trying to farm, okay? I'm trying to simulate the free to play experience. Actually, you know what? Shit, I can't actually do world boss cuz I did it today to to unlock her potential. You know what I can do though? I can do alliance battle extreme. Isn't that super exciting, guys? Right? I know. Very cool game mode. So we're going to do some ABX. For those of you that are curious what she got at tier 2, because I did do a comparison, I was getting around 600,000, possibly if I played better, 700,000 in the clips that you're seeing now. I kind of got, you know, uh, blinded a couple times, I took a lot of damage, um, and while her, her rotation is not awkward, um, it's a little bit... It's a little bit of a struggle uh, to keep her alive. She's definitely not the easiest character to keep alive for ABX. Uh, but she does good damage. She's definitely number one for today, which is universal superhero female. Even at tier two, level 60, she's 100% number one, as long as you get her uniform. And it looks as though she'll, she will also be number one for round three, which is universal hero. However, this is where the drama comes into play. And so I'll do the run, and then I'll talk to you guys about the drama at the end, because I just feel like that's the, the, the way to go about it. But... We just got to do a little cut here because I have to unplug my mouse and I got to plug in the controller to the laptop. So hang on. And we're back. So here's the thing with tier 3 Captain Marvel. Uh, it's difficult to play as her with the CTP of energy. But the basic rotation you want to do is 5, cancel 4, 3, 2, 1, and then just do five, 4 again. You always want to proc on your fourth skill and because it's every 7 seconds it's quite easy to do uh, and you want to ignore your well I'm gonna proc on my tier 3 skill here just to show you but as you can see the tier 3 skill is not that impressive in terms of the uh, overall damage um, it's kind of like Thor's tier 3 so I don't mean to um, disappoint you guys uh, those of you who were hoping for some kind of Sharon Rogers esque am I gonna be oh my god I got stunned this is the worst possible showing alright fine I got stunned um, anyways she's not like she's not like uh, Sharon Rogers or Luna Snow her um, Her tier 3 is much more like uh, Thor the tier 3 skill itself doesn't do that much damage and while the buff it gives you is good uh, You are better off just using the skills that you're given um, One through five and so one is definitely her best skill the good thing about one the good thing about her Sorry her one no her fourth skill is her best skill the good thing about her fourth skill is that it procs her her, uh, her damage proc quite effectively. It's, it's pretty much a guarantee to proc, especially when you have um, your binary up because it adds extra hits at the beginning, which is perfect. Uh, the one thing I do want to point out to you is that your damage proc will last six or seven seconds when you're in binary. So you can't go by the basic uh, or by the, the usual timer because that one second of gray time where the, where the, the, uh, the, the proc is not active is, is not there anymore because of because of Captain Marvel, because of her buff tier 2 skill. So you have to pay really close attention to uh, that, and you basically need to uh, press 4 as soon as it's ready. Now, I'm doing that, and I'm getting unlucky. I, I got stunned for 6 seconds. I've missed some procs already. Um, but she can still hit. I was practicing... I practiced a couple times before uh, we cut to this part of the, the video. And uh, did I do my... Yeah, I did. And I got about 1.2 million. That was kind of the, the score that I was getting around that score. I'm deviating a little bit from the rotation as well. I'm doing two before three and stuff like that. But in general, uh, you can definitely hit over a million. But it's not an easy two million. It's definitely not like uh, Sharon Rogers and Luna Snow, who are just complete monsters um, for their days. It's just that, that for, some, for whatever reason, that just doesn't happen. Another thing that doesn't happen is um, not getting blinded. You can actually get blinded midway through her tier 3 skill. I've seen it happen. Uh, it's actually quite, not midway through actually, towards the end I should say, of her tier 3 skill. I completely missed a proc and it's actually going to activate completely off, but this is essentially 
uh, how the character is at tier 3. Not the most impressive. I got blinded there. Not the most impressive for ABX, but keep in mind I haven't been practicing it that much. But I did want to show you some gameplay uh, before I can show you some more gameplay later of World Boss Ultimate. So that's just a small glimpse of what Captain Marvel can do at Tier 3. I still have a lot more uh, fine-tuning to do in terms of her Uru and other uh, build properties. I'm also going to be mythicking her uniform and working on her type enhancement so that I can test her in PvP because I'm quite excited at her uh, viability for PvP, especially with her fourth skill, which has Ignore Targeting, which basically is Ignore iframe. so I'm quite uh, looking forward to that and also to bring you guys more content of Captain Marvel Tier 3 like World Boss Ultimate. However, there is one thing I do need to cover and that is the CTP of Energy Visa V or versus uh, other CTPs, in this case the CTP of Rage. Now I'm not trying to call out any of the top scorers and I'm not trying to say that they're, it's their fault in any way because it isn't, but I do want to point something out to you because if you go and you look at your overall rank and you go and you look at the top ranks for today, all of them have one thing in common. If you go to Captain Marvel, you will see that they all have a CTP of Rage equipped. Now, the CTP of Rage is one of the two new CTPs that we got, and from the from the first look, it didn't seem to be... Well, that's a CTP of Energy, so that's very impressive. I'm quite surprised. I don't know why that person's there. But if we go to the next person, I guarantee you they're going to have a CTP of Rage. Yep. And this continues. Now, from the reports that I've been getting from different players... Captain Marvel with a CTP of energy maxes out, like top score is probably about 1.7, possibly 1.8 million, but more reasonably I've seen 1.5 to 1.6 million, that's a lot of score, believe me, but here's, here's where it gets interesting, with a CTP of rage, because the character no longer has a damage proc, you don't have to stack your damage or time your your skills in this case her fourth skill you don't have to time it with this uh increased damage by x percent for one attack so you don't have to worry about that anymore you basically just with the ctp of rage you basically just rotate through five four three two one four three two one without even you don't even have to pay attention and she easily caps two million people have been getting 2.5 million uh with this new ctp now, this is both good and bad. Now, on the one hand, it's good because I've long complained about the frustration of a CTP, or not a CTP, of obelisk procs and having to rely on something that only happens 10% of the time because the, the obelisk proc happens on a timer and it says, you know, there's a chance to proc. Um, it, it says it on the other ones that, that aren't CTPs. It says, uh, well, once I find a proc, it'll say... 10% chance when attacking applies to self increased damage by 60%. So there's that. Um, now, with the CTP of Rage, you don't have to worry about that, which is good. On the other hand, here's the bad sign. The first bad thing is that it removes the skill element from ABX. And the skill element in ABX is a difficult thing to talk about because on the one hand, you do have people who genuinely take ABX seriously, they try their hardest, they master skill rotations, they practice for hours with characters, and they get a lot of satisfaction out of that. Those are the best, and I love those players, and thank you uh, for being you. But on the other hand, for high skill caps, for things that have high skill caps, you have players going the route of kind of sort of cheating. I don't want to call it cheating, but it's sort of cheating because they will ask their friends in their alliance or in other alliances to log into their account and play for them to get a higher score. So you're basically getting someone who's a better shot to 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 take the shot for you cuz you you know, you got a blind eye or something. Anyways, the point is there is good and bad parts to having uh, a high skill cap, but having a high skill cap is better than having no skill cap because when you take away the skill cap from something like, and when you take away any sort of expected skill for ABX, then you're robbing all of those players the satisfaction of knowing that they're good players. There are very few game modes, let me make this clear, there are very few game modes in Marvel Future Fight that require skill and that require high skill. And so players basically have two places where they can show off that they're actually good at the game, skill-wise. World Boss Ultimate, with the trackers for how high you can push levels by going down here, nope, by going down to the bottom and pressing on the little uh, magnifying glass and checking out your score, and ABX. Those are basically the two places where it doesn't matter um, if you're, it's, it's not about refreshing an infinite number of times in timeline battle, and it's not about having, you know, perfect cards and getting lucky on RNG for tournament or conquest, uh, but it's about how you play. It's basically just ABX. 
uh, scores and world boss ultimate and so having a CTP of rage um, not only robs the, the the players of the satisfaction of, of having to, to, to be skillful but it also you know flattens the playing field so that everyone looks the same because you don't have to worry about the skill rotation you can just press whatever buttons you want now I know that does seem appealing to some of you guys but then you also consider the fact that the only way to get a CTP of rage is of course to gamble on it there's no other way in the game to get one and it's not even featured right now and it may never be featured so it may just be one of the off-brand obelisks or not off-brand but one of the off chance CTPs that you get now even if it is featured the fact that they're forcing you to gamble for a new type of custom gear a new type of CTP that is just vastly superior to the CTP of energy um, is feels quite bad now I know what a lot of you guys are gonna say cynic Alex why didn't you have this reaction when the CTP of energy was first uh, released well I kind of did I talked about power creep when the CTP of energy came out and I said that it's just gonna obviously make other obelisks obsolete and it has made regular damage proc obelisks obsolete and for all of my top characters I do use CTP of energy I agree and I have spent a lot of money gambling for CTP of energy I agree however the difference is, when the CTP of energy was introduced, they gave us ways to get it for free, i.e. Chapter 13 clear, Legendary battle, etc. Additionally, over, over the months and over the updates, they've given us additional ways to get CTPs of energy. They've stopped recently, but you know, Killmonger's uniform, Pimtron's uniform possibly, etc. There are no ways to get a CTP of rage, except for Pimtron's uh, uniform uh, rank up from the Ant-Man Legendary Battle, and most players who have earned that have already spent it. Kudos to you if you listen to me for not spending it. But that is kind of the big problem here. They're, they're, they're killing the skill aspect, this, the skill component of ABX, um, while making it a requirement for certain days of the week in order to get a top score, which is 2 million, and then they're basically telling all of the top alliances, all of the top players, you must gamble. You must spend money if you want to keep up because there's just no comparison. You guys think that 500,000 points is not a lot. It is a lot. The difference between 1.5 million and 2 million for 40 players, think about it. It's a huge number. And so basically, you're going to see a, 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 wide, a gap widening between the people who spend the most and the people who don't. Now, I know that you're going to say, well, Cynic Alex, that's just too bad. Just spend more or don't. And yeah, you're right. You're not wrong that it's basically just spend more or don't. But I think the, the more important thing here is to think about skill cap um, because it is important, however frustrating it is to play uh, ABX and other game modes where you're relying on a 10% chance, I would rather that than just mindless button mashing, right? I'm sure you can think of some games where you mindlessly button mash all the time and you win and it gets boring pretty fast. So. I hope to see some sort of reaction from Netmarble on this. I'm not sure exactly what it would be. I mean, I don't think they're going to change the stats on the CTP of Rage, but if they perhaps buffed Captain Marvel so that she could still hit 2 million with the CTP of Energy, or if the community somehow figures out a way that she can hit 2 million with the CTP of Energy so it's not really an issue, uh, that would be the best case scenario. I think if the CTP of Rage was an easy way to get to the same place as a CTP of energy, then I would understand because then you have the option. Do I want to challenge myself and use a CTP of energy or do I want to go kind of the easy route and I'll spend more money, I'll get a couple CTPs of rage and I'll just kind of, you know, uh, autopilot myself while I'm playing. But having the easy way also be the way that gets you a higher score, that's where I start to take issue. So this is kind of the secondary conversation that's building up around Captain Marvel's Tier 3. A lot of people are talking about this. A lot of people are unhappy about it. Some people are happy about it. A lot of people don't care. Let me know what you think. Hit me up, hit me up down below in the comments. Join the Discord. Hit me up on Twitter. Subscribe. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.